Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I want to do a showcase of the latest project I've been working on for ComputerCraft. The CC Tweaked, it's a multiplayer version of the Blackjack that I've made in the past so that you can play with friends and it connects in with the bank system so that you can use that to store balances and when you make bets and when you win money it has an effect and it's also much more secure as the disk ID can't be faked whereas the name of a floppy disk can easily be changed. So first before we set up the multiplayer black check we just got to set up the bank system so disk drive computer in the modem so that you can access the bank anywhere in any dimension we will grab this script here to download and install the bank system we'll restart we'll just set up a card with 5 enter a pin and we'll make sure it has some money on it as you can't play without any money there we go, now we have a hundred bucks now we will set up the actual multiplayer so this is will be the main computer with a connection to the bank and a screen up top so that the audience or anyone else in the casino can see what's happening and players can see what's happening with other people's games so we'll place this modem here turn it on and then this will be how it connects to the other computers that act as just displays that allow individual players to play the game. Now it's in these individual computers instead of on the main screen is if I used what the other co old code had with the on-screen keyboard it'd be very easy to see someone's pin. So it's done in here with the number keys and it's hidden so it's much more private like the ATM so we will connect these up record the name of the disk drives as it's also done over modem and we will pull up once again this code we will since it's on github we will use the git, install the github installer first then we will install the main game with all the logic then we will use this here to set up each of the wireless displays now we will have to go into each of these and just this one's fine as the modems on the bottom restart and you can't use control T to exit you have to power the bottom exit that's just a little security feature like the ATM now this one we will have to edit as they each have to have a unique modem channel to communicate and lastly this one as well now we'll go over here let's start up we should get the ID of the bank first it is 8 so we'll go in here set server ID to 6 no, 8 um, this modem is on the back not the bottom monitor top that on the right and we'll just leave the name of this in the bank software logging system as casino 1 now those channels we set up the drives were this one was 3, this one was 4, and that one was 5. So we'll change that there super quickly. And now if we run the game, everything should be working. Now you'd normally play this with 3 people with 3 different cards, but we haven't set that up. So go in there, choose your card ID. You can always exit and if you do something incorrect or you don't have enough balance something like that it will just restart this process so we enter our pin you can see our balance up here do a bit of five dollars and it gives you that do the same over here you can see our bet 
balance has gone down by five dollars, so we'll do six here. And we'll do four here. Now like a, an actual casino, you only play one at a time. So here we got twenty. Should probably stand. Twelve. We're gonna go to him and do a double. And so if we look at the bank it actually withdraws another six dollars when you've doubled because um, you put up the same amount as your old bet um, we'll just hit here 19, no, 18 stand so they lost, they lost don't know what they happen usually if you're playing with three people they'd have plenty of time to see but we can guess from here as we can see here, here's the withdrawal from the first bet we'll have checked the balance first to inform you and also make sure you have enough balance for the second, withdraw for the second, balance for the third, withdraw for the third and now it doesn't check the balance for the next one as it'll just not go through with the double if it gets an error back saying it couldn't withdraw because of low balance now the double button won't come up in the first place if you don't have enough money from the first balance check it does originally to do double your original bet but you might have had enough money at that time and then withdrew some and so you just get an error and then your double wouldn't process so we can see they clicked double and it withdrew and then these guys obviously all lost because no money was deposited back so let's try and get a win this time Side note, I didn't mention in the video, the betting process can be done in any order. I did it in 1, 2, 3, but you can do it in whatever order you want. And it can also be done simultaneously. I'm just one person, so I can't show you that feature. But all three computers can be in different parts of the betting process, and putting their pin, and putting their card, clicking on screen, typing, and it will all work simultaneously. You don't have to worry about waiting for another person to finish the betting process before you start. 20 will stand, um, 4 hit, 7 hit, 13 hit, 19 will stand on that, 18 stand on that, lost, push, win. So we can see deposit of the $10 which is double the original bet of 1 because they get their own bet back and they get the 5 whereas this one they just get their money returned because it's a push and so that's everything working there if you have any issues setting it up or you'd like to add or remove players to this amount just contact me on discord that would be the easiest place to do it uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I will be using code from this to make my old blackjack work with the bank system so stay tuned for that and I will see you next time.